Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, everyone. My dear ones, teachers and students, in today's gospel, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, addressing to the Pharisees and the lawyers, Is, discover, is discovering their true face, their true attitude. From one side, you would say, well, but they were the priests of the Old Testament. What did they wrong? What did they do wrong? Well, you see, the thing is, as Jesus mentioned in the gospel that they used the law, the commandments, to benefit them. So if, for example, on the Sabbath day, they could not go outside of their house, but just about 15 meters from their house, so they found a way to tie a rope, a rope from their house, and go as far as they wanted to, you know? So, and with the tithing, the same thing. The, in, the, in the commandments was pretty clear what they had to tie, but they added more to that from, the, from their selves, you know? That way they did it on their own. So in that way, they found, found excuses and ways to how somehow to work around with the commandments. So we don't like the way that God gave us the mm -hmm. commandments. So we want to change them, to manipulate the, his commandments. And that way, we are dividing the people in groups because there always is go are going to be those that wants to keep the commandments the way they are. And they are the lazy ones that, oh, it's fine, it's better, right? The same thing with us, right? We want changes. We want the fasting to be easier. And we found, we found a lot of alternatives. So we cannot eat meat. We found different meat, the artificial meat to eat. But still, you know, it is, it either is that soy meat or milk or uh, tofu or whatever. You know, we, f we found a lot of alternatives to work around them, right? So when we think that we're doing good, we're trying to fool God with that. <laughs> you know, if he said plainly, don't eat that, so why we're trying to fool him and to find alternatives for it? There are so many other things that we can do, right? But you see, our mind is going there to work the, the commandments around. So, and this is not, not something new. This is from the beginning, from the beginning of his creation. Even one of his higher angels wanted to get better or higher than his creator. As much as we will try, we cannot do that. Can we replace our parents? They gave birth to us. Even though we will excel in our life and maybe get a hard job, but still, we're not going to be in, by any means better than our parents, right? Because the age has his, its input, right? And it, it's not even about that. Why disappreciating your parents, even though if you got a better job and you make more money than your, your dad or your mom did. It's not about that. It's about the sacrifice. It's about the love towards our, and respect towards our parents. And here I want to, to share with you a story of a young fellow like you. So he was raising up with his mom. But he was ashamed of his mom. 
she had only one eye. And he told her, I don't want anyone to know that you're my, my mom. And she was working at the school, making the food for the school. So, and he told her, do not ever approach me to tell me anything. I don't want anyone to know that you're my mom. So he was ashamed that he, his mom had only one eye. Of course, he didn't, he, he didn't have a father. So one day, between the, the breaks after the lunch, she approached him to greet him. And he got so angry and so mad at her. He, didn't, he just turned the back and said, don't ever approach me again. Leave me alone. And he said to himself, I will study hard. I will become the best to get a, a good scholarship, to get out of here as much as further as much as possible. I don't want to be in this environment anymore. So he studied hard. He got accepted to one of the best universities. But guess what? His mother followed him. He, she started working, working at, in the kitchen at the university. He said, didn't you have anything better to do than follow me? Leave me alone. I want to live my life. I don't want to see you. You're embarrassing me. At, at the school, like every, everybody that figured out was, oh, your mom, it's, it's a monster. And some things like that were making fun of him. So I'm, I'm so, so done with this. Anyways, he finished, graduated. And he told her, please stop following me. He married, built his own family, but his family, his kids never saw his grandma. Their, their grandma. So one day she decided to go to visit her son and at least to meet her grandchildren. She pushed the button, ring the bell. The kids came, opened the door, and they saw this lady with one eye, and they started laughing at her because they didn't know who she was. So her son comes out, how dare you? You have the courage to come to my house, to embarrass me here. She said, oh, I'm sorry, sir. I think they gave me the wrong address. I'm really sorry. So she left. After, a little while after that, he received a letter from his school that he graduated in his hometown that they had a student's re uh, reunion. So he decided to go to, he, he, to see his uh, classmates. After the reunion, he was pushed by force to go to his house out of curiosity, not that he felt sorry for anything, but out of curiosity. When he went there, his neighbor saw him and came out and said, your mom died a few weeks ago, but she left you a letter. She, he's reading this letter. She, uh, she's apologizing. My, Apologizing, my dear son, I'm sorry for all the inconvenience that I, I created for you in your life. You know how much I love you. You're everything for me. But uh, let me tell you what happened. When you were little, you had an accident. You lost one eye. And I decided to give you one of mine to see the world through my eye. So you see, we are so judgmental, but we don't know why our parents made one of or another decision, but it's always for our best. Because they love us, but we are so judgmental. See, he was ashamed. 
to see his mother. But when he figured out, of course he cried bitterly, but it was late. Give respect and love to your parents, no matter what. Because they give everything for you. All what they are doing, they are doing for you. And the same thing, the same relationship, the same attitude we have to have with our God because he gave his son for us. It's exactly the same thing. So let us put ourselves together. Let us understand the words of the gospel. Let us change our attitude to be loving, caring towards each other, to be respectful because this is what God wants from us. And this is what he taught us. And this is what the church is, is love. So may God help us. May God guide us. May God embrace us. Amen. God bless you all.